No one is famous forever. In fact, there is nothing that lasts forever. Whatever you are pursuing today will soon go out of fashion. Yes. Only Jesus is the latest. Everything you pursue outside God was a waste of pursuit. Anything you pursue God a waste of pursuit. In 42 verse 1 he said my soul panted hard after God. My soul panted hard after God. In Psalm 63 from verse 1. He said, Oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul tested for thee. My flesh longed for thee. In a dry and testy land where no water is to see thy power and to see thy glory as I've seen thee in the sanctuary. Nothing makes sense when you are passionate for God. Everything loses sense to you. Loses value. Am I communicating here? This is my first time to Qatar. I've not been to Qatar before. I've been to over 130 countries in Qatar before. This is my first time here. And my son was telling me today, he said, let's take you around. I said, to do what? He said, just see please. I said, I'm not talking. I came to preach and I'm going. When I finish preaching, I'm going. I'm not a tourist. It makes sense to me. And someone said to me, what is, what is that thing that you like? We have tried to ask you questions. What do you like? I said, miracles. I said, miracles. I like to see power. I like to see God as well. Everything fades. Everything fades. I have seen the vanity of life. I know a man who I friend. He bought his plane. And when he bought his plane, one time, you know, the wife would take, take the pie. To the, he got angry. He bought the wife her own plane. As a birthday gift. Now the children were carrying the part. He bought the children, two of them, their own jets. So there were four jets in the compound. One time he needed to go somewhere, and his jet was taken, you know, by the engineers for maintenance. So the wife will not allow her use her house. The children will not allow. He ordered for another jet. He was just buying jets like, like water. He died in his sleep. As I speak to you, all the jets are packed. Wasted. The children can't maintain it. They are so bad, they can't be sold. The vanity of life. When you are hungry for God, everything loses value. And they pursue him. You money, you are pursuing fashion. You are pursuing. There are things money cannot buy. Money can give you food, but can't give you appetite. Money can take you to school, but money cannot. Money can give you a woman, but money cannot give you a wife. You can buy a man, but you can't buy a good, good home. Money can get her, but money cannot give you a safe journey. There are things, money, if all you are interested is money, 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 money. Some people is money, 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 money. Some people is cars, cars. Some people is marry, marry, marry. They are so carried about with marriage. Even in their prayer, marriage. They are speaking in tongues, marry, 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 marry. Everything is about marriage. There's a pursuit they have. That's all they pursue. But when you get to a point in your life, I've discovered that when you stop pursuing those and pursue God, those things start pursuing you. Am I talking to somebody here? One of the things that your desire is to stop pursuing those things and stop pursuing God and when you pursue God, those things begin to pursue you. And the Bible said when Jesus looked at them, he was moved with compassion. When I saw that, I stopped. When Jesus looked at them, he was moved with compassion for two things. He said they were as sheep not having a shepherd, one. Number two, and they had nothing to it. So two things that cross the heart of heaven that makes God on us is lack of direction and scarcity. Not to know to do is a crime in this kingdom. Not to get to a point where you, there are people at this point of their life they don't know what to do. They don't know the next thing expected of them. They are lack. They lack direction. They lack direction. They lack direction. They, lack direction. they need to know yet they need to know what to do they need to know the next step to take the Bible in proverbs chapter 6 trust in the lord with all thy heart lean 
not to thy own understanding wait acknowledge him and he shall direct your path in all thy and he shall direct your path in the name of Jesus you will no more lack direction you will no more lack direction you will no more lack direction Abaratataya. ah what speed is knowing what to do if you are moving in the wrong direction everything is not an advantage not even Direction speed is not an advantage when you are moving in a wrong direction. There are people who are stuck because they don't know what to do. He says, Saw them, they were like sheep not having a shepherd, and they had nothing to eat. They had scarcity. Poverty does not represent the kingdom. To lack, you don't lack because you are black, you lack because you slack. Poverty does not represent the kingdom. In as much as materialism should not be your pursuit, poverty should not be your desire. Vanity of vanity. Wealth is vanity. Even poverty is vanity. Abundance is vanity. That city too is vanity. Poverty odor is worse than body odor. Is worse than body odor, sir. You have no voice when you are stranded. You cannot be a voice until you are a source. And sir, if you are still thinking of cutting corners, then you are not. You are not. You are not to be enlisted in this generation. I'm talking about. I said to young men in Nigeria. I said to them around the world. I said the kind of money God wants to give the church cannot come through rituals. It cannot come through gimmicks. It cannot come through cutting corners. It cannot come through games. The kind of wealth that God wants to bring to the church is money from the kingdom. God will connect you to institutions. God will connect you to nations. God will connect you to people. And will take you to a level in life where heavens will open to you. There will be divine supply. Am I talking here? I'm one of the pastors in Nigeria that reject money. I'm one of the few pastors in Nigeria that reject money. You can't bring a tithe that you can't explain. You drag back to me. What do you do? <laughs> we bless God, sir. We bless God is not a job. What do you do? Because I have said it. My, my blessing of God from my life does not come from the church. It comes from the call. It's not from the church. Stop looking at them. They don't have... that mentality all about that is why nobody tell me what to preach i don't have any committee that controls me i control all the committee anyone i don't like i cancel i dissolve you dissolve the committee when the committee called me and said want to have a meeting with you i sat down while they talking this committee dissolve <laughs> are you following me but if you are looking at them and you are looking at what they have often they can give are you following what i'm talking about how can you lend to nations when you are depending on peanuts Sir, your salary is not your source of survival. Yes, sir. Your salary is just to get you busy day to day. Your wealth is in nations. There are people heaven will connect to you. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. Am I communicating here? Yes, I want to expand your mentality. That you begin to have a national internal mindset this is god bless me i build us god bless my bike if that is still your dream you should not be in this service am i talking to somebody here if that is still your dream i'm talking to a generation of ambassadors who are going to be lending to nations who are going to be lending to nations who are going to be learning money to continents i'm talking about a generation of people who god is going to so bless and they become financials of the kingdom they become financials of the kingdom am i talking to somebody here someone asked me a question one of my very close people from canada asked me a question he said you are moving from here to america america to the every week do you get tired 
do you get tired fatigue i said no he said why i said because i have sense he said, what do you mean by you have sense i said okay tell you what breaks down pastors when you go to a place and everybody land on the queue they want to see you and you now think that they have something to give to you so you must see them as people like us we don't expect anything if i finish preaching here after i leave this place i don't have anointing for anybody after I leave this place, the only anointing on me is to go and sleep. Am I talking to somebody here? I'm not expecting anything from nobody. I enter my car, I go, I rest. Next meeting, I'm back. I say, I don't stress myself. But when all of you, you are dependent on what can this one give me? What can that one give me? So you are worn out. You are worn out. God told me clearly. He said, any man that must enjoy kingdom prosperity must learn how to depend on God. For I will look up to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from God. Who made the the evidence and the end. Someone came to our church from Germany and they told me she was a wealthy woman. Embarrassed herself. So I said, Apostle, how do we help your ministry? And I said, Go around this compound. Go around and see all the structures in this place. When you finish, come back. When she finished, I said, Madam, we don't collect help here. We give help. Okay? So if you need help, tell us. You don't insult the gospel. Stop ridiculing yourself because you want extension from men. Let your language start commanding wealth. Don't speak your condition. Speak your destination. Don't speak. Don't speak. Walk around. Look at high rise beauty. Say this. Are okay. It's going to be one of my properties. Buy this one. Just buy one in Dubai. Buy one. Start talking destination. Don't talk condition. Don't look your account. Look at your covenant. Am I speaking to somebody right now? God is raising up young men and women to finance the kingdom. I, am I talking to somebody here? Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Don't speak your condition. Speak your destination. Am I talking to somebody here? They ran after him. He said that he saw them. You can't serve this God and be empty handed. You can't. Exodus 3.21 I will give my people favor and when they come out, they will not go empty. You can't serve Jesus and be empty handed. You can't serve Jesus and be empty handed. You can't serve Jesus and be stranded. You can't serve Jesus and not be satisfied because it says in Ephesians 3 and verse 20 that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think according to the power that dwells in us is able to do exceeding in Job chapter 42 and verse 2 he said I know that thou can do all things and nothing can be withholding from thee in Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 25 he said God is able to save to the uttermost them that come to God through him believing he ever liveth to make intercessions for them in Philippians 3 and verse 21 he said God is able to subdue all all things hear me and hear me well i am speaking you cannot be stranded after now you cannot be stranded after now heaven is about to attend to you heaven is about to open up to you you don't serve a dead god you serve a mighty god he's the same yesterday he's the same today he's the same forever when god says yes the man can 